Oh no, I must have pacified him. I must have switched ammos by accident. Bam! All right, so now I'm this dude. Hey, what's up? Oh, crap! No, I got attacked in the pig! Oh, man! Hey there, folks. Maisie on here, and today we're going to look at a game called Night Marchers. It is currently in pre-alpha development by Wormbite Studios, and it is a open-world, post-apocalyptic RPG shooter where you tap into the power of the spirit world to become a demigod and clear Oahu of the army that has taken control. And it's up to you to work with the survivors, find the favor of the gods, choose your skills and weapons, and remake the island in your own way. Will you use your stealth, modified guns, or supernatural powers from the gods to fight for the island and take it back from the raiders who will overrun Oahu? And so that is the game. That is the premise of the game. But it is a very well-developed pre-alpha, in my opinion. Um, as far as graphics go and optimization, it is. it runs great on my computer. And, uh, and I really like the concept of the Hawaiian uh, uh, gods and everything that is about this game. And to give you a little bit more of an idea what it is about, I want to run the trail for you right now. So much of Hawaii is now gone. So much death, so many souls adrift. The factions each rebuilt in their own way. Kamapua'a has returned and taken a human form. His army of fanatic raiders have overrun the island. Kamapua'a has even corrupted night marchers. The gods have other plans for Kai, a descendant of a great Kahuna. Only he can gain the power to free Oahu from Kamapua'a. you probably noticed it is in a kickstarter at fig.com right now there was a link at the end but i'll also put it down in the description below um they're looking for backers still they got like 28 days left they've only raised thirty-two thousand out of a hundred thousand uh, dollars in order to finish the development of this game and i think it is definitely worth um worth the effort and worth putting in some backing so uh, before we get into uh starting the new game and seeing what the first part of the gameplay is about they've got these pre-equipped characters and i don't want to kind of show you guys what this guy can do once he is equipped um because i think it's i want you to be able to see what this is all about all right so like i said this game this game basically is, it's on ultra it runs at 60 fps for me no problem we do have uh some hiccups when we try to load world chunks but pre-alpha remember pre-alpha not even alpha game yet and so before we we're gonna get we're gonna get noticed by somebody unless I find like a bush or you know I get away. Something is something is noticing me up there. Yeah, they've already seen me. Oh no, they've already called reinforcements too. But what we can do is turn into a bird and fly away. So we're gonna fly away right now. We're gonna go back there in just a second, but I wanna kinda show you the menus and whatnot before we uh we get into some battle. So we've definitely gotten away land right here bam like so look at the boat look at the boat so the island is beautiful too um everything looks really really good if you can see you can see in the lower left hand corner we've got like a radial menu it doesn't show you which keys are which but i believe it's up and then around one two three four on your keypad these are different things that you can heal with or increase your mana with upper left hand corner you see and green is your health the purple bits are your mana so if we go into the inventory menu here you can see all the controls you can see the factions you can read a little bit about the factions that are on the island and you see the kamapua raiders which are the evil dudes that you're trying to to thwart and then you've got the skills there's a whole like skills tree we're not going to get into everything right now um and we, we've got the inventory you've got resources that you can gather and using the resources you can 
craft consumables and you can craft all kinds of stuff in the game you've got things that you can throw you've got different guns you've got different modifications for your guns all kinds of stuff so if you press q in this game it's gonna bring up i don't i don't remember what it's called i wish i knew what it's called it's like the spirit sight or something like that and when you're in the spirit site you can bring out your bow which is your awesome spirit bow thing and so you notice in the radio menu again you can go in and through these different variations of ammo for your bow and the first one will get you mana whenever you hit something sometimes uh this is your regular arrows uh the next one is an explosive arrow right there that will explode after a couple seconds after it's hit somebody You've got this flower, which is like peace. So it'll, it'll pacify some people in an area. And then you've got this last one. It, show, it's like, it shows like a, like a marionette. And basically, you can take over that person and fight as them. So if you fire this from a distance at some unsuspecting people that haven't seen you yet, you can use that person to kill other people. Now, if we get rid of the sight and we uh, get into the guns, there's a pistol, there's an automatic rifle, there's a sniper rifle, and there's a giant LMG. And so these are different guns that you can get in the game. And right now, I believe, yeah, right now I have equipped the fire sword. And so I'm guessing that they're going to be working into uh, more, more melee battles. I haven't found a way to block yet. And if I look in the controls here, I don't believe that blocking is a thing. I don't see block anywhere or parry. But I expect that there'll probably be more intricate melee battle in the future. It's all kinds of different melee weapons. Uh, you got this guy right here. And this guy right here is the same thing, a different different variation. This is like the first machete you get in the in the game. You've got a knife. Uh, there's the fire sword level five that we're working on right now. And then you've got all these different guns. So I could equip some of these guns as well. Entech Soaker. I haven't tried them all. But you can equip them. You can see one, two, three, four. These ones are the ones we get equipped right now. Bolt action rifle, uh, M60, the M11 pistol, and the automatic fire weapon LV2. So we're just going to uh, hang out and play with those for now. But we're going to go down here. We're going to try to fight some dudes. We're going to try to fight some dudes. So in order to get back down there, we can turn it. Every time we use this bird, it turns into... Uh, it it uh, takes our mana. I'm sorry, I got distracted for a moment. It takes some of our mana. Why am I still attacking? I think there's a little bit of a glitch occurring here. So this does happen. There is a little bit of a glitch with the sword. Uh, so we just used... Uh, oh, I accidentally used a uh, health over time thing. So let's see if we can get in there. So another thing to note is you get given a knife early on in the game. And that knife, you, you can do like Assassin's Creed takedowns. So you get behind him, you press F and you take him down. And that will get you mana. So it's another way uh, to get yourself some extra mana. When you have the spirit menu up, it'll show you where the enemies are as well. You can see there's a bunch down there. And then you can see these pigs are yellow, but they will also attack you. So it's kind of a pain in the burt. So I haven't tried to uh, take over one of these pigs with the with the uh, marionette ability. I don't know what they're called yet. But uh, we're going to try to do that now, I think. Not sure if it'll work. Or we can try to take over that dude standing right there. But let's do that, actually. Let's grab up number four. See if we can grab this dude and uh, and fight as him. I'm going to make sure I'm on him. Oh! Oh, I missed him, man! And so now I don't have the ability to do another one, which is super sad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, apologetic that we didn't get to show that off yet, but we will. We will definitely get to show it off sometime here. So I just used uh, the ability to get some mana back. We're going to use another mana ability, number four. We'll get some more over time. And that may open, yeah, it reopens the ability. So let's see if we can use it. Come on, man. Come on, Mazion. You can do this, man. You can do it. I believe in you. It's some sway. Oh, oh he saw me. Crap. Come on, man. Boom! Got him, I think. I have to be within the circle to use him? Is that the case? Is that the case? That's not cool. That's not cool. Get in the circle. I don't know, man. That didn't work out. That didn't work. Four. Oh, no. I must have pacified him. I must have switched ammos by accident. Bam. All right. So now I'm this dude. Hey, what's up? Oh, crap. No, I got attacked with the pig. Oh, man. Not off to a great start so far. Not off to a great start. Let's get out of this thing. Pigs. Die, pigs. Stupid pigs! Get wrecked! Alright, so they got wrecked. 
All right, so these other guys, if they see me, they'll fire. Uh, let me see. Let me get back a little bit more mana. I really want to use that, that marionette ability and uh, kill another dude with it. It would be really cool. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can get this dude from here. He's definitely... He's definitely on me. Oh, I can't get him. I can't get him. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I wasted it. I wasted it. Unfortunately. Reload! Not reloading. There we go. Got to do it up here. See me from somewhere. Now, I don't know if getting in the bushes makes them lose you. I haven't tried this yet. So that dude no longer sees me. Now he sees me again. Who is it? Oh, there he is. Oh, what a jerk. What a jerk. Switch guns. Switch to the... Bam! The rifle. Bam! Get dead. Alright. So I guess they all know that I'm here now. There's nothing I... Oh, collect mana. Get it, get it, get it. We need that. We need that stuff. Is there more mana over here? No, it's just a flower. Alright. So let's, uh, let's get up in here. How do I get up in here? Maybe I can't get up in there easily. Oh, it's a giant pig! It ate me! Alright, I died. So that's the thing. I died. I'm still learning, man! It's still learning, but it's so fun! I'm still learning. Oh, let's get back. Let's try again. So now we can try to do the marionette thing again, I believe. Yep, we're back where we were. We're back where we were. We need to find a bush. I think I got him from over here before. So let's do this thing. Guy right here. Make sure that we have the appropriate one equipped. Which we do. Number four. Bam! Oh, I can't hit him, man! What the crap? What the crap? So sad. I'm so sad. Can I get one of those guys? Oh, no. Crap. I'm not very good at this yet. Get up in here. We need to try to find somebody that we can do this on, man. But if the problem is we don't want him to be able to, to see us as well. Bam! All right, we got him! All right, so now this dude... Apparently, they don't care. They're like, whatever. Oh, and then he only gets to control him for so long. And now he knows! Now he knows. He's like, dude, I just got taken over. And uh, I'm very upset. So let's, uh, let's get into killing some fools. Get into killing some fools. Two. Let's use the explosive arrow. Oh, he's through the tree. Crap. I can't hit any of these dudes. But it'll explode on the ground over there, too. They're pretty cool. Get him! So if there was a group of them, it would really take them out. Bam! Get wrecked, sucker! Yep, he got wrecked. So now, we're kind of out of mana, but we do have the ability to use some of these mana arrows. Which, they don't always work, but sometimes they do. And you always have the slow down, the slowy down time. I missed him. Holy crap. Bram. But it will drop the mana near the people, so that's kind of an unfortunate side effect. Because I have to run over there and get it. Let's get out of this guy. What's up, dude? Get wrecked, sucker. What are you looking at over there? I'm up here, man. Let's go into uh, the snipper rifle, which is not really a snipper rifle. Oh no, giant pig! Giant pig's bad! Giant pig's bad! It's gonna try to find its way up here to kill me. We don't want that. We oh, there's a dude. Hey dude, what's up? I've got a fire sword. You ready to fight? Come over here, man. Get wrecked, sucker! Fire sword wrecked! So they all have stuff that they drop as well. Come on. I love the, the, the Hawaiian music here. Holy crap. Get wrecked. And so these guys have armor on too, which should be noted because uh, what I, another thing that I love about the game is when you shoot them in the armor, nothing happens. Um, 
like literally they take no damage which is which is the point of wearing the armor right headshots do count in the game if i could shoot somebody in the head there we got 216 uh i think i have the sensitivity up a little yeah it is a little high I actually jacked it down all the way So we're just kind of trying to take out these dudes. Kill the pigs! All right, I killed the pig. All right, we got dudes over here that can see us. What are we looking at? All right, there's some dudes. A lot of dudes. And there's the giant pig of nastiness. It'll destroy us. Hey! Oh, you got your way up here? Check it out. Oh, what am I? Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, let's use the. He dead. There he is. Hopefully that pig doesn't come after me. They're scary, man. But I do have like grenades as well, which you use by throwing the middle mouse button there. Oh no. Get him. Kill the giant pig and also his friends. They've got yield signs on. You should definitely be careful around them. All right. We kill the giant pig yet? Is he dead? All right, giant pig's dead. Amazing. So you can harvest all these guys. They all, they've all got armor, uh, ammo, and like crafting items. That one had a hula girl. All kinds of crap. Vault over the pig! Alright, so there's a dude over there somewhere. That did not... Oh, that, that like shot him up into the air. Amazing. He died. He died. Oh, dude. You get him. So there are melee fighters and range fighters in this game. So you'll, you'll notice like the melee guys come up. And you have to deal with the range. I, I have this problem when the melee guys are coming at me too. It's like super easy to, to evade them. Oh, come on. Jerk. I've got no ammo. I've got no ammo. I've got ammo. Get wrecked. All right. So we've lost a little bit of health. If I press one, I'll get it back. Oh, we've got pigs. Get wrecked, pigs. Get wrecked, pigs. Oh, well, this isn't working out so good. I need more ammo. Amazing. They're dead. All right. What do I got for ammo here? We've got... I healed up. We've got pistol ammo. And we've got ammo for the other guns now, too. Let's do this. I like this one. It's big. So there's a brother hoss. I guess that's a dude that we have to rescue. Someone over there sees me. I don't know who it is. Who is it? Which one of y'all sees me? Oh, they have these things too. This is what calls the reinforcements. Very sad. Hi. Shoot them in the crotch. That's how they die. Blow things up. Oh, we cleared the whole outpost. Amazing. Oh, and then so that thing disappears. It's amazing. So now we've got uh, this dude here uh, that really wants out, I'm sure. Stand back, I'll get you out. Thank the gods that you came when you did. They took me when they attacked the ranch. I think they were after the horses. So they're going to have the dialogue later. They're in dialogue in some spots, but not all the spots yet. Free alpha game. They're working on it. Offer help. Do you need any, any help getting back? You need that? Maybe? I'll make it back fine. And no offense, but I figured right now you're the one they want. All right, cool. Um... So what we're going to do right now is we're going to exit back to the main menu. We're going to start the main game. So that's kind of what it's like when you've got all of the things. And it sounds like they're working on other spells as well that do not include your bow. I haven't seen how to get into that yet. Um, so I'm, not, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm missing something. That is very, very likely. Very likely. It happens all the time. 
And so it turns out I did miss something. So when you're in your Uhane vision, you can use the middle mouse button, which is normally the button you use to throw projectiles, and that'll bring up spells. And so you've got this uh, volcano spell, you've got a lightning spell, there's a shield spell, and there is a uh, stealth spell. So those are the spells that you have. I'm going to go ahead and show you all these spells. Now, I haven't been able to get it really to to do its business grade at this location. I'm going to do my best. So we're going to try to put it right here. Bam! And so it's going to make a volcano thing come up. Bam! It really wrecked that one guy a little bit. But it also spits these little... This magma out that hits all the dudes. It, it whacks them real good. Woo! Birdie! And then so before we go and show you the lightning spell and the other spells, I'm going to show you as well. You, when you turn into a bird, I did not know when you go in the water, you become a shark. You become a shark. And then if you go back out of the water, you become a bird. So you're a shark in the water, you're a bird in the air. It's pretty amazing. So we're going to go back over here onto the land and uh, take some things to r r get our mana back up. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys, which I don't know since they've already seen me, uh, I don't think they're, I don't think they're still after me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the stealth spell. Bam. And so if I run out here, guys that would normally be able to see me will not. Oh. So those guys over there, see if they've already, if they've already spotted you, they'll still spot you. But new dudes will not see you until you come out of stealth. And then they'll figure out where we're at. As you can see right now, someone is, is noticing me over there, right? And so if I use the spell again, now the noticing is going away. So that's the stealth spell. The shield spell really isn't, there really isn't a lot to show there. Uh, it just gives you a shield and shields you from damage. And so the last thing to show off is the lightning bolt spell. So I do need to get myself near somebody that I can use this on. Uh, we'll try this dude. I don't know if it's going to work out, but we'll give it a shot. It's so hard. I don't think it will hit him. No, see, it didn't hit him at all. So we need to find a dude that it will hit. We'll go back over here. All these guys are going to beat the crap right out of us. Bam! And we'll get one of these off on this dude right here. Bam! 500 damage. A lot of damage. It really does a number on them. But so those are all the different kinds of spells that you can get in the game. I just wanted to show you guys that before we went on to the next part of the playthrough, which is going to be starting a new game, a brand new game, without all the stuff that you get uh, for being spoiled by a demo version. I've only had a very little amount of time to play with this game so far, but I am enjoying it. It is a great oh, game. So much of Hawaii is now gone. The scientists pushed too far and brought the Nui Kahikili, the great thunder. So this is the beginning of the campaign. The barrier between the spirit world and ours. Now we are cut off, lost in the great ocean. So much death, so many souls adrift. The night marchers take them to rest under the waves. Oahu began to recover, the few survivors carved out a new life. The factions each rebuilt in their own way. But the great thunder awakened the peak god, Kamakuaka. He has returned and taken a human form. His army of fanatic raiders have overrun the island. They hunt down any that stand in their way. Look, I'm so beautiful. The ancient warriors now attack the innocent. Kai fled to Hanauma Bay with his son Omi, hoping to wait out the storm. Sadly, no one can avoid their fate. The gods have other plans for Kai, descendant of a great Kahuna. Kamakua'a seeks to test him before his time. I am his Kamakua, his spirit guide. Only he can gain the power to free Oahu from Kamakua'a. Daddy, what's that sound?
All right, so the Kamapua are coming to come to attack us already. Hold on a sec. I think maybe every time we start, yeah, every time we start an instance of the game, we're gonna have to do this right now because of the pre-alpha. But get our get our stuff all set up appropriately. Daddy. Honu, no. It's gonna be okay. We have to get out of here. Run! So I love how it's, uh, this is on Oahu. If you haven't figured that out based on the dialogue and stuff, this is on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. And, uh, I love how, like, the, the Hawaiian culture is so involved in the game. Um, it's different, it's new. We can just get to the end of the beach. I'm really impressed by it. Get help. Hold on, Honu. This is Kamapua. You're a bold one. You're nothing but a brute in a pig mask. I don't fear you. This island will not bend to your will. You can't speak to the gods this way. I would have you as a leader with the gods of my capacity son. But you have secured your own death for her. Your example will have to run on the ash to the world. So this is a night marcher, a, a not messed up one. This is a good night marcher, and it's taking his son's spirit to the ocean. What's going on? The god sent me to bring you back. I have returned your spirit to your body. Bring back my son. That's not possible. You brought me back? Aren't you a god or something? I'm no Akua. My power is limited. What possessed you to bring me back and not my son? I came for you, not your son. Once the Night Marcha left, I was able to put your spirit back in your body. Kama believed you weak, but me, I think you could be made into a weapon. A weapon? Kama is no simple bandit, you see that now. If Oahu is to survive such a being, we need a force of equal power. I can teach you to be that power if you will let me. But for now, we need to focus on your survival. You have to get off this beach. Why is my arm glowing? You are reacting to the presence of a nearby spirit, Kai. The Ohane spirit resonates with your own. Oahu teams with spirits, many need help to move on. You can see that with your Ohane vision. Uhane vision. Help them, and they may be able to help you. So we find our first remorseful spirit over here. We can see him without our Uhane Uhane vision, though. Or Uhane vision. What's this dude? Oh, this is his Hello? dead body. Can you hear me? Hey, you're the guy. And what Kama came here for? Ask about Kama. Why Kama want me? Why now? He was mad. 
He said we were coming here to settle the score. But that's it, man. That's all he said. That really is all I know. I know it's not enough. It's not much, but take my weapon. Use it to get your revenge. You deserve at least that. All right, take the weapon. Got it. Take your weapon and see. You get your due. All right, so there's dudes here. So we got to get over to that place. So we've got the takedowns, like I said. So there's one walking. Is he walking away? He's walking away from us right now. And if we crouch, we can sneak. So we're going to try to sneak up behind this guy and take him down. I don't know if we can do this yet because we don't have the knife. Careful. Those guards are armed. I know they're armed. So I don't have takedown yet. You from them. Get him! Kill him! So he's dumb and dead. You could sneak up and take them down without alerting anyone. Oh, he saw me. Hi, what's up, dude? Get wrecked! Do you have any cool stuff? He doesn't have anything. Oh, so if we go out into the into the forest here. Throw a rock to distract enemies away from your hiding place. We're gonna throw a rock in a second. Uh, it says that these are gonna shimmer, but if you if you look at them right now, there's a icon for all of the resources that you can find, which makes it a lot easier uh, when you're going around looking for stuff. So that's pretty cool. I need to find a dude that... Oh, there's a dude. So if I throw a rock, which is, is subsequently how you, th how you throw everything. I can't do it in my Ohane vision. If I throw a rock over there, he'll get distracted. He's like, dude, what's that rock? Oh my god. The rock. So we're going to go up and we're going to destroy this dude. How long does he get distracted for? Those thugs trash the hell. By Carmel's command, no doubt. Yeah, see, I still can't take him down, but I can just wreck him. Get wrecked, sucker. We can by destroying the temples. All right, so. Undo this desecration. All right. Clear the hell and repair the damage. You'll have to gather the materials needed to repair the hell. You can harvest most materials from plants or wildlife. So in this case, it shows you what you need to but get. You can also scavenge some materials in ruins or from your enemies. Harvestable plants and other objects you can collect will shimmer in your view. All right, so now we're going to go and see our first, like, god dude. Amazing. Hi. Got it. Pair. And now I want you to pray to him. And so far, I've had to like go around and then come back, and then I can. Oh, we gotta talk to him. There, there we go. So, you're Puel's chosen? No warrior, a whelp. Do you have mana at all? I sense only a glimmering. You will need to build that strength to use the gifts of the Akua boy. That mortal weapon is crude. Except this pahoa. I love how he uses one of his spikes to make the to make the dagger. I'm accepting it. So this is the thing that you can use to assassinate people. Each of our enemies that dies to this blade will grant you mana. But you will expend that mana when you exert your Uhane powers. Your enemies may not always be so near at hand. You will need a way to strike them at a distance. For you, I think a bow is best. Except the bow. So here's your spirit bow. Return to me when you have mastered the bow. When I master it? Interesting. Alright, cool. So, what they're going to have us do now 
is use the dagger to get the mana. Powerful weapons which harness your mana, your life force. Now use this knife to take down a guard and steal some of his mana for yourself. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna go and do this real quick. Ocean waves coming in, pretty cool. Look pretty cool. All right. So right now I can use V or Q to toggle my Uhane vision. And so now that we've gotten the dagger, we can do takedowns. Bam! Now that you have mana, attack these remaining guards with your bow. All right, so now we've got, you can see Sometimes your how that arrow has the mana symbol. Your target. Be sure to retrieve it before it fades away. Bam! I missed him. He didn't even notice. You see the mana that dropped? Cool has given me his blessing. I can't climb over. So you can vault in this game, but not all the time, apparently. Make your way up there and liberate it from Kamapua'a's raiders. Taking all his stuff, taking all his stuff. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to show you some of the gameplay. I wanted to show you uh, some of the initial gameplay as well. It's a great game so far. It's in pre-alpha. It's not even in the alpha stages yet. They do need backing uh, for their Kickstarter at fig.com. So make sure you check out the, the Kickstarter in the link below. You can help these guys out. I'm sure that they'd greatly appreciate it. And thanks so much to Wormbite for giving me a key. I'm enjoying the game. If you guys like the video, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Mazion here. And also at twitch.tv slash Mazion for more adult-oriented content. If you guys want to see more of this stuff... Uh, more of Night Marchers at pre-alpha. Make sure that you blast the like button, leave a comment, and uh, have a great day. See you later.